Hi, it's Janie, and today we're going to be sharing with you some of my weekly wows. And I should be naming this my weekly wows, um, shopping my stash edition, because um, all of these products, with the exception of one, are products that I had in my stash and pulled out and kind of have like, whoa, <laughs> I like these. Why haven't I used them before? So anyway, if you want to know what they are, then stay tuned. Okay, so let me start with the one product that wasn't in my stash, but it is a product that I have been using and have really enjoyed, and I think it has really made a difference in my hair. I know some of y'all have um, shown an interest in what I use for my curls, and this is probably one of the, well, I started to say it's one of the only products that I use that's not specifically for curly hair, but that's a lie. Anyway, it's this here, it's Olaplex, and of course, with it being white, you're not gonna be able to see it. Mm, and I don't have anything here that's other than my whites. Is that gonna help? No. I'll try to remember to put a, a screenshot here of the Olaplex. But anyways, the Olaplex Hair Perfect Perfector Number no. Three, and what this is, it's a repairing and strengthening, um, repairing and strengthening product. I don't know how else to explain it. It's not a shampoo. It's not a conditioner. It's just a treatment product. There we go, a, a treatment. And how I use this, and the directions are, is you're supposed to use it on. Um, towel dried, sham freshly shampooed towel dried hair. And so that's what I do it. I use it once a week. I do it on Sundays, Sunday mornings. I get up and I hop in the shower and I shampoo my hair. I don't condition it. I shampoo it and then I get out and I wring it. And I don't use a towel on my hair. That's one of the tips I guess I could tell you with curly hair is I don't use a towel. I use a t-shirt. So I have a t-shirt in my bathroom and I just, you know, get all the ex excess water out. And then I just use a dollop size. And because I will tell you, I purchased this one back during the spring, the spring, the VIB sale in the spring. Was it in the spring? No, it was not in the spring. It was the one that Sephora um, did when they reconstructed their um, rewards program. Remember that one? I think that's when I purchased this one. And then I purchased a new one during the fall um, VIB sale. So I have a new one of this. But anyway, so I'm going to say it took me two to three months. October, October, November, December, January. Yeah, it took me four months of using this. Um, using it once a week. So four, eight, 12, 16 weeks of using it um, because of my hair length, which is pretty short. I didn't have to use it um, a whole lot. Oh, but first of all, the smell of it smells so good and I got it on my nose. But anyway, I really think this has helped with getting, keeping my hair from falling out because there for a while I was having so much problems with my hair just falling out so badly, but um, it is supposed to act as a bonding agent, um, and a lot of people that get their hair bleached, um, their salon was using this on them, and there for a long time, you can only get the Olaplex at the um, salons, but now you can get it at Ulta, and it does say use once a week or for damaged hair two to three times a week. Apply on damp, towel-dried hair. Apply a generous amount from scalp to ends until hair is thoroughly saturated. Leave on for a minimum of 10 minutes longer if desired. And so what I would do on my Sunday morning, like I said, I would get in, put it on, and then I would do my housework. And that would take, you know, a couple hours. So I would be having it on my hair for a good solid two hours up to three hours. And then I would get back into the shower, shampoo it out, and then do a conditioner. And then do my normal um, routine that I would do for my hair. And I really think this has really worked wonders for my hair. I think this is probably what you're noticing having the shine that's in my hair since I started using this. So I really, really do like this Olaplex. Like I said, I have another one of these in 
my stash right now, so I don't need to purchase another one right yet, but when I do run out of that one, I will be repurchasing one. Okay, so the next products that I'm gonna talk about are products that were in my stash that um, I pulled back out. Some of them I've used before and then quit using them and I pulled back out and I've really discovered a love for them. And two of them are products that I've had but I haven't used and now that I've used them, I'm thinking, well, dang, why haven't I used them before? And one of them is a hair product, so let's talk about it that I um, used this morning for the first time. And it's a hair deep conditioner and it's from the brand Hosk and it's the coconut milk plus organic honey. And it's specifically for curly hair and it quenches and controls frizz for all curl types. And it's a curl care deep conditioner. And there, there's enough in this pack. I'm being kind of gentle with it because there's still enough in this pack to probably for my hair to do two more times. I don't know if you can see down in there. I can get myself situated here where you can see. Can you see down in there? Oh my stars. Does it ever smell like coconut? If you do not like coconut, you are not going to like this, the smell of it because it does smell like coconut. Let me see, I wonder where the coconut, oh yeah, the coconut fruit extract is very high up there on <laughs> the ingredient deck. Yes, so is the honey, but it is it was very hydrating, very hydrating. I very much enjoyed using this this morning. Between this and the next product that I'm gonna talk about, Oh my stars, when I got out of my shower, I was expecting the little cabana boy to be out there with a pina colada handing it to me because between it and the next product, mm, it smelled good. I can still smell it in my hair. Mm, it still smells like coconut. And of course I got it in my lip gloss, but yes, very conditioning, um, hydrating. Uh, my curls are very picky when I introduce anything new to them. And I felt like today they have behaved pretty good, which is pretty good because it's really humid out today. So I feel like I haven't got a whole lot of frizz. I got a little bit of frizz up here, but not too bad. So I feel like they did really good considering that I used this for the first time this morning. So they, 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 they liked it. My curls, I think this is curl approved. So, um, going to use this um, later in the week probably again so because like I said I've got a couple of use two more uses in that pack and that's a brand that you can find easily at Ulta and they run sales on that all the time I'm pretty sure that is where I got that at was in one of those little Ulta um, gift packs that came with the purchase so again that was something I've had in my stash and pulled it out and used it and actually really liked it <laughs> so and then this guy this is the other coconut product that I have that I use this morning and I actually I've been using this for a couple of a couple of months actually and it's the Jason coconut body wash now I've had it for a while and when I first got it and started using it I didn't like it it's supposed to be a body wash and the reason why I don't like it is because it doesn't lather up and I was trying to use it I'm a bath taker and I was trying to use it in the tub and use it on my my loofah my poof and it doesn't lather up and I thought this is just just garbage and so if you would have watched my my empties um, earlier in the week you, you see that I'm trying to declutter <laughs> some products and so I pulled this out a while back, you know, when I'm trying, I was going to just get rid of it. But I thought, no, I don't want to get rid of it. But I thought, how am I going to use this? Because it doesn't leather up. So I got the idea. I'm thinking, well, what if I used it in the shower and not use it as a body wash, but use it as a in-shower lotion, as a conditioning body lotion instead of a body wash? 
and I really like it that way. So that's how I've been using it. When I do my showers is, you know, I wash like I normally do with my body wash that's in there, and then I've put this out on to my hand. I don't even try and put it on the loofah. I put it on my hand, and I just lather it all over my body, and while I'm waiting for whatever conditioner I'm using to work its magic on my hair, and I'm shaving and doing a little other things, relaxing, um, letting the hot water really get onto my shoulder. I have a lot of problems with this shoulder right here. Then I'm letting this kind of penetrate into my skin and moisturize uh, my body. This really works for that. So if you see this one, the Smoothing Coconut Body Wash from Jason, I got this at TJ Maxx. Just know it does not lather. It's not a lathering body wash but I like it for using it as a in-shower body lotion, if you will. So I like it for that. So like I said, between this guy, this coconut smell, and this coconut smell, yeah, um, there should have been a cabana boy <laughs> in my bedroom waiting with a pina colada, I'm telling you. So anyway, okay, so Another um, rediscovery that I have used lots and lots of times, um, this is probably my third tube of this, but I had put it aside and hadn't used it in a while, but I had purchased this guy. And this is the, um, what's it, the Harry um, Razor. And you've probably seen them at Walmart and at Target. And I was thinking it would be kind of comparable to the Dollar Shave Club. It's kind of what it reminded me, but you know, you can get it right there at Walmart. And I, like I said, I'm a bath taker. And normally when I shave, I just use the water from the bath and shave. Well, this razor, you have to have something besides just water because if not, it drags, it goes, and it just, and you do not get a smooth shave at all. And so I pulled back out my Cremo um, shave lotion, shave cream. And the reason why I like this so well is because, like I said, I'm a bath taker and I can't really use just traditional shave creams in the bath because they don't dissolve in the bath. And you have these little chunks and bits and pieces kind of floating around the bath water. And I hate that. I absolutely hate that, it grosses me out. Where this will immediately, as soon as you get done shaving and you swipe it off and it goes to the water, it immediately dissolves and it just is done. So I really like this. This one comes from the men's side of the shave section at Walmart. And there is one that is on the women's side and the only difference between the two is just the scent. This one is a citrus scent and the one on the um, the ladies' side is a like a what was it a mango scent I think or something like that a fruity scent I think is what it was I it didn't really matter to me um, yeah this one which is a citrus scent and I forgot what that other one was I think it was mango but anyway this is supposed to be like a a 90 day supply it just takes a very little bit it's very concentrated but it really really does help with making getting a really um, smooth shave and a very close shave and it works wonderful if you are a bath taker and then the last thing I have was something else that I discovered in my stash and this was a little sample pack that was this was either in one of those freebies that I got um, at Ulta with a gift or it, I picked it up at the checkout stand at Ulta. That little, you know, kiosk thing that they have because you can buy just this right here. It's like $2.50 or the full size of it's around $28. But anyway, it's the Body Shop British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask. And it's a rinse off mask and I used it this morning. And oh my goodness, was this ever nice. This was so nice. I'm telling you, it smelled so good and it was so hydrating. And it was like a gel type consistency. I don't know if it said that on there, but it was. It was just like a gel type. Oh, it felt so good and it was so hydrating. And I kind of think it was very similar to this one by Fresh 
which is the rose face mask. Um, it didn't have all the little bits and pieces in it like the fresh one does, but it was pretty much the same consistency as this one. Pretty, pretty darn close. Where this one is like 60 or was it $80? I think this one was around $80. Quite a bit of, yeah, quite a bit of difference in price. So if you really like this one, but you know, you're on a budget and you just don't really want to spend <gasps> that much money, you might want to give this one a try from the body shop. Maybe go to Ulta and just get this little pack and try it and see if you like it because I sure did. I really enjoyed that one. I was going to see. Uh, I was going to see if it said anything about having um, rose petals in it. It does say that it has rose flower powder in it. Mm. Rose fruit oil. rose extract but anyway I did enjoy it I did so if you're on a budget um, or you just don't really want to spend that much for this one you might give this one a try and like I said you can get this little pack like this size here for just a few dollars so anyway that is it for my weekly wows I hope that you have enjoyed and I will talk to you soon